Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Sierra 4002 FB fifth wall. This is a two bedroom with a loft, two full bathroom fifth wall. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this big RV, show you what this thing's all about, We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Sierra 4002 model here. And as you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a front bedroom and rear bedroom two bath RV here. So let's start back here in the very back of the camper and then we'll kind of work our way forward for you. So in the very back section of the RV, we have an injury exit door going in and out the rear of the RV with the nicer more ride step. But the bathroom area here, all vinyl floor down through here, you have porcelain foot flush toilet. You're going to have your little sink area and medicine cabinet area over there. There's an AC duct over there as well. Spinning around here on this side. You're going to have your little tub shower area here. So you have the ABS tub surround and it does have a small tub. So if you were having a little child or something, you could give them a bath back here if you had one. But this gives you kind of a whole private bathroom area back here for this bedroom. Queen bed, there's electric outlet and USB charger port on each side, window on each side does open. The bed will raise up so there is some storage underneath of there as well. And you have quite a few dresser drawers and some hanging space as well on each side here. Room for a good sized TV to go in the middle there. You have soft close cabinet doors, and you're also going to have the soft close drawers as well. These are full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers, again with that little soft close feature. But plenty of room in this bedroom area here to maneuver around. Now above that bedroom area right here, you are going to have kind of a little loft area. So they did a nice size ladder here. It's a metal ladder to get the kids in and out up there. It also has a little bit wider step pad here as well. But let's climb up here a little bit and see what's going on up here. So over here on the left, you have that little black square area. So you have some uh, TV hookups and stuff. You have some cabinet space up here. The window in the back does not open. There's a vent up there and some more cabinets over here on the right. Electric outlet also has USB charger ports. And then you do have this window here that opens and is also an emergency exit. A couple AC ducts up here as well. And then you have a decent amount of room here and also some cabinetry right here as well. So you figure you could sleep two people on the queen bed back there, maybe two or three people up in the loft area as well, depending on if they're kids or adults over here. Going to have a little bit of cabinet space here and some more down below as well. Now, right over here, you're going to have your TV hookups. 
You have sound bar and electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Now this has one of those Murphy pantry style things and this swings open. It's got a couple magnetic catches to hold it when you're uh, in storage or in, in use, I guess you'd say, if you're camping in it. But then it has an actual travel latch when you're actually going down the road you're supposed to lock in there. But quite a bit of shelf space back in here. And just a little latch right here below the TV to lock it in for travel. Really cool setup. And then directly across from your TV is your little theater seat set up here. And you also have some big windows back there kind of overlooking the campsite area. You have pulled down roller shades there to cover those windows. Uh, freestanding dinette. Uh, well, actually it's not really freestanding. It's attached to the wall um, and there's no center leg. So they kind of went to that setup this year. So the table attached to the wall with no leg in the middle to knock your knees on. Uh, there's an electric outlet underneath it there, a charging pad on top, and you have four freestanding chairs. The slide out has that kind of woven material instead of carpet. Um, they use that woven material in a lot of like pontoon boats and stuff. It's a lot more rugged and easier to take care of than carpet. You have some electric outlets on the back of your island, propane leak detector, uh, solid surface countertops in the kitchen area here, big high-rise spring sprayer faucet. You do have the Furion oven, a nice big oven, three burner gas stove top. You have six drawers. And then you have the Furion microwave, again, larger microwave as well, and quite a bit of storage space around there also. On the end of the island over here, you have a little flip-up countertop extension just to try and give you a little more room. You have the Everchill refrigerator here also. And you're going to have three more drawers in the island and some storage underneath as well. There's a vent fan up top, nice hang down pendant lighting. You got a ceiling fan up here as well. A couple speakers in the roof up here also. Pretty cool setup. Pantry right here, another little area. Does have a little backlighting there. Now this little section here you could maybe use as a small desk area if you wanted to, or coffee bar or something. Uh, but you could definitely spin around one of those uh, dinette chairs and set up right here with a small laptop or something. Electric outlet there has USB charger ports on them as well. You'll see this little sticker in some of them that talk about the uh, solar panel on the roof, 30 amp charge controller. Back in behind here, you're gonna have things as far as you know, slide controls, awning controls, uh, porch light, awning lights, some ceiling lights, hallway light switch. We have monitor panels for our holding tanks, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping, water pump. Uh, there is some prepping for some King Wi-Fi Connect stuff there, electric outlet up there as well. And it kind of has that little floating step look to it. You can maybe kick your shoes under there when you come in. You have uh, electric box, a little step light down there. There is the on-demand water heater controls by Furion. A couple light switches here as well. There, this one was ordered with the central vac down there. Does come with the little hoses and stuff. Second bathroom up here. So you got a little bit of cabinet space up here again. Another vent fan up here. Skylight above. This one has the one piece fiberglass shower with the sit down seat. Adjustable shower bar. 
also has kind of a little shelf in there as well. You have the porcelain foot flush toilet. Some of your controls here, an electric outlet as well. Now up front here, we have another queen bed. And this bed will raise up as well. So you're gonna have an electric outlet on each side. Again, USB charger ports built in there, a little shelf space. Window on each side does open. A little shelf space back here, another electric outlet down there. Digital thermostat for one of the ACs up here. Plenty of room to kind of turn sideways and kind of scoot in and out of the bed area, but then you have a little more room at the foot of the bed as well. Big window opens. TV hookups above the dresser there, so you could put your TV there. One of your Coleman ducted ACs here. This customer wanted the washer dryer stackable feature as well. So you can do this nice option here if you're gonna extend and stay or maybe try to full time in something like this. Uh, if you don't want the washer dryer feature and you're just more camping kind of scenario, uh, you would get just a big open hole right there with the closet bar and everything. So you would have more hanging space. Still get the water line hookups and drains so you could add a washer dryer in the future. You just don't have the washer dryer. Sliding doors here. This kind of opens you up into the other part of the closet. You got another Wi-Fi connector there. Quite a bit of shelf space back there as well. And some more hanging closet rod. But plenty of height and everything in here. It's not your traditional mid-profile style. It's more of what they call a high-profile fifth wheel. All right, we are going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Sierra 4002 FB fifth wheel here. We're going to start here on the door side. We'll work our way around for you. So first things up, we have kind of a light gray fiberglass exterior with a black lower metal skirting and some vinyl graphics. This unit has deep tent safety glass windows. They do also offer an extreme package that you can get like dual pane windows and larger furnace and stuff like that. So if you're gonna be one of those extended stay or full timer type of customers, you might wanna consider getting that as well. Um, definitely talk with your salesperson about those type of features. You have two awnings, LED light strips built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. This one, as you've seen when we were inside, was ordered with washer dryer prep. So it had a vented dryer put in it. So you're seeing that little white square up there, which is the dryer vent. It has two speakers up high. They got little blue LED lights in them currently. Another nice feature, it has an amber light up there above your door. So besides the LED light strips, you have a porch light as well. Back in behind here, we're going to have two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. You're gonna have a pretty large storage compartment area right here. There's TV hookups, couple electric outlets in here, battery disconnect in here, and a couple motion lights as well. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing up there as well. Baggage door is a little bit thicker. Slam lock baggage door has uh, currently held up by a magnetic holder. Has a cold water spray port right there as well. The more ride entrance step, which is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover steps only rated for 300 pounds. So you have a heavier duty step, comes down, touches the ground, so it doesn't rock and roll the RV as bad uh, when the kids are running in and out there. Large folding entry handle as well. The unit is prepped for a four camera system. 
So you could put a camera above your entry door, one down each side and one on the back if you want to, allowing you to see what's going on around the RV when you're traveling down the road a little better. That's a nice uh, option to consider when ordering. Again, unit ordered with the TST tire pressure monitoring system. It has the anti-lock brake system as well. And it also has Goodyear tires. You have drum brakes, easy lube hubs, again, Goodyear tires, and that tire pressure monitoring system. Very, very nice, uh, along with that ABS for safety. Back here is where you would mount the little griddle. Um, so there is a griddle that comes with it. You can put right here. There's a gas line hookup down there where that white tag is hanging down. Little black thing on the side right there is a vent for the back bathroom. And then you have prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder you can get. Again, prepping up there for that rear camera if you want to do that. You have more ride step on the back, entry exit door as well. But it's a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. Now, one thing you might consider adding to the RV, which a lot of people do, are slide out awning covers to cover the tops of the slide outs. They help shade the room. They repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff, just to kind of help from things getting up there when you're camping. So you don't have to get up there so often and worry about sweeping them off or cleaning them off, that kind of thing. And again, it also just kind of helps repel a lot of water. So if you're out camping on a rainy day, it just kind of protects it a little better. Dumping back here for the rear bathroom, there's a little round thing right there. You undo that cap, reach in there, and your gray and black for the back half of the RV uh, is back there where you pull that. Up top on the roof, this one had two ACs. You got things up there, though, as far as like plumbing stack vents, uh, your TV antenna, you know, roof vents, all that type of stuff, guys. You got to get up there from time to time and maintain your seals and seams and everything. Another thing that's really nice, too, you can kind of see the gutter is down below the edging. It's not a real sharp 90 degree termination. They have a nice roll underneath of that material to help uh, protect things and roll that water down off the side a little bit better. Uh, so I definitely like the way they do their roof edging as well. There's low point water drains down below and then the second dump comes out just under there. However, the handles for it uh, are gonna be up here in the docking station we'll get to in a second. There's a fresh water tank drain down below this compartment as well. We have detachable power cord right here, your furnace exhaust right here, your Furion on-demand water heater is right here as well. Now on this side of the storage compartment area, you're gonna have your solar charge controller your jack controls. This one was ordered with the six point electric auto level jack control system. Lippert ground control 3.0 it's called. Again, thicker baggage door, better insulation, slam lock. Now up here, you're gonna have the area for your water filtration system, cable inlet, uh, black and gray tank dumps here, city water and stuff you can send through the different areas down here, black tank flushes, uh, just a lot of good stuff right here, all in this area. You feed it up through the hole here, and then you can close and lock your door. Hot and cold outside utility shower. There's a light in there as well. Now right here, you're gonna have some important informational stuff here. Production date sticker right here, telling me this unit was built 1115 of 23. Model number 4002 FB. Gross vehicle weight, 15,500 pounds. It's the most you can load it up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that. Dry weight, 13,323. Exterior length, 43 feet, 5 inches. Tire size, ST25585R16 E-range tires. Very important to uh, keep up with your tire pressure on your tires as well, guys. 
but overall really nice looking unit on the outside down here in this section, you got your battery compartment, the uh, repeater for the tire pressure monitor, some of the uh, kind of guts of the RV. Your tire is in here, your spare tire is in here. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. It's out of the weather. Um, you know, just one of those things that's kind of tucked away so it's less likely to get stolen. You do have a switch right there on the front that turns on these beautiful cap lights right here. You have a really nice heavy-duty fiberglass front shell. Lights up nicely at nighttime. Definitely like this one down here, kind of lighten everything up if you're trying to hook up at night as well. Currently using the Rhino Pen Box. So if you plan on upgrading this to like a Kurt Air Ride or a Moor Ride box or something, you got to make sure it bolts up to the Rhino bolt pattern. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please remember, as always, to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more videos. And again, always check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. One of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They're definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.